So in this chapter, we are going to focus on how to evaluate indefinite integrals by u substitution. So let's try this example. So given the integral of the function 3x times 4x squared plus 3 all exponent 5 dx, how do we integrate this indefinite integral? Now, because we are using u substitution to evaluate this indefinite integral, we are basically going to make u be equal to some expression in this whole integral. So, first of all, we can say that first of all, we can say that let u be equal to four x square plus three. So now when deciding to make u be equal to an expression in this whole integral, we always think of making u be equal to the most complex expression. So we realize that here we have the product of two functions. We have 3x and then 4x squared plus 3, all exponent 5. Now you realize that 4x squared plus 3 looks a bit complex as compared to 3x. So it is wise to make u be equal to the complex expression so that when you find the derivative of u with respect to x then you can perform some cancellation and then it makes the whole integral looks very simple and easier to solve so after finding or after letting u be equal to 4x squared plus 3 the next thing to do is to find the derivative of u with respect to x so we say that we have du dx be equal to so we differentiate 4x squared, we have 8x, and then 3 is a constant, so it goes to 0. And then we make the x the subject, so we have the x equals, we interchange the positions of 8x and then the x, and that is equal to du divided by 8x. So at this point, let's substitute u and then the x into the integral so we have the integral of 3x times 4x squared plus 3 all exponent 5 dx be equal to integral of 3x times so we have 4x squared plus 3 to be u so that is times u and then exponent 5 times dx which is du divided by 8x so x cancels out x and then we are left with 3 over 8 which is a constant so we have that coming out so 3 over 8 times the integral of u to the power 5 du so at this point we've been able to eliminate x from this integral so we are left with u to the power 5. So let's try to integrate this. So we still have 3 over 8 on the outside. We are going to integrate u to the power 5. So we increase the exponent by 1. And then we divide by the total exponent on u. So that is divided by 6. Plus the constant c. Three goes here once, three goes here two times. So we have one over eight times two is sixteen times u to the power six plus c. Now let's substitute u back into this expression. Now we have u to be four x squared plus three. Therefore we say that we have one over sixteen times four x squared plus 3 all exponent 6 plus c so basically this is our final expression now let's move on to example 2 let's move on to example 2 so for example 2 we are going to find the integral of the function 4x squared times the square root of 1 minus 
X cube. Now this can also be expressed as the integral of 4x square times 1 minus x cube raised to the power 1 over 2. Now what do you think would be most appropriate to make u equal to? So we can make u be equal to what's in the brackets that is 1 minus x cube. So 1 minus x cube. Therefore, we have du dx to be equal to, this goes to 0, 1 is a constant, so it goes to 0, and then we have negative 3x squared. Therefore, we are going to have dx to be equal to du divided by negative 3x squared. So let's put dx and then u into this integral. So we are going to have this to be equal to the integral of 4x square. We have 4x square times this is u. So u to the power 1 over 2 times dx, which is du divided by negative 3x square. So x square cancels out x square we have 4 divided by negative 3. So that comes outside. So negative 4 over 3 times the integral of u to the power 1 over 2 du. Now let's integrate u to the power 1 over 2 because we've been able to eliminate all x's from this integral. So we have negative 4 over 3 on the outside and then we have u to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus c. Now we can as well represent this as negative 4 over 3 times 1 over 3 over 2 is basically 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3 times u exponent 3 over 2 plus c so we multiply negative 4 over 3 across and then we have negative 8 over 9 times u to the power 3 over 2 now don't forget that u is equal to 1 minus x cube so in place of u we have 1 minus x cube exponent 3 over 2 and then the 2 suggests that we have a square root and the 3 means that we have everything in the bracket cube so this becomes the square root of 1 minus x cube or cube plus c so basically this is our final expression now let's move on to example 3 now let's think of a more complex example. Let's try to find the integral of the function sine square x times cos x dx. Now we can see or express this as the integral of sine x square times cos x dx. Now let's make u be any of them. But it is very important that we make u to be equal to sine x. Therefore we have du dx be equal to now derivative of sine x with respect to x is cos x. And for that matter, we have dx to be equal to du over cos x. So we are going to have the integral of sine x is u. So we have integral of u square times cos x times dx, which is du divided by cos x. 
so we have cos x cancelling out cos x and then we are left with the integral of u square du so this is very simple we increase the exponent by one we divide through by the total exponent on u next let's substitute the value or the expression for u back into this expression so we are going to have sine x all cube divided by 3 plus c and then we express this finally as sine cube x divided by 3 plus c now to the last example for today's lesson let's look at this example we are going to integrate the function x squared times sine 2 plus 6 x cube dx so with this we can as well let u be equal to 2 plus 6 x cube and then du dx will be equal to this is a constant it goes to 0 we have 18 x square therefore dx will be equal to du over 18 x square so we have the integral of x square times sine 2 plus 6 x cube dx to be equal to the integral of x square times sine u because 2 plus 6 x cube is u so sine u times dx so that is times du divided by 18 x square so x square cancels out x square we are left with 1 over 18 times the integral of sine u du now when you integrate sine u you have negative cos u so we are going to have 1 over 18 times negative cos u plus c so you multiply 1 over 18 across we have negative 1 over 18 times cos u plus c don't forget that u is equal to 2 plus 6x cubed. Therefore, we have negative 1 over 18 times cos 2 plus 6x cubed plus c.